All right, welcome back to the site. I know it's been more than a couple weeks, probably over a month since my last update. There's been a lot of, lot of action going on. I'll take you through what the updates would look like. I think what you can see behind me from the last, uh, last episode has is, is changed a lot. We were able to form up the second floor of the, the uh, sunken bar. Also, the, the pool room or mechanical room has been covered and the electric room has been covered. Right now, they're, they're forming up the second floor for the main CR for the back of the house, as well as the uh, hobby room. And so the, the breezeway has really taken shape since the last time you saw it, it didn't have a roof at all on it. We'll walk through there and you, you'll see how that formed up. Some other major accomplishments that we've had are the placement of the air conditioners. We, we found a uh, vendor we liked and we entered into a contract uh, for the entire house. Uh, we'll be using split type air cons throughout the house. We did look briefly at the uh, cassette type that goes in the ceiling, but I, did, I didn't really like it. Uh, the, the, the split type air con is, is proven and uh, I like the way that works and functions. So we went with uh, that type of unit for all the main rooms. I'll take you around and try to give you some feedback on the, uh, the horsepower that we used for each room. So let's go ahead and take a look around. I'll start over here. I'm standing on the, the lower pool area. What I'm looking at here is the, the sunken bar and the stairs going up to the sun deck. And as you can see, the, that pour is complete. That'll encompass the surface for the, the sun deck. Since the last episode, they've also completed uh, the beginnings of the, the back deck area here. There. We still have the forms on the stairs going up. So this will be one way up to the sun deck. And uh, I liked how this turned out. Once you get up here, this area will be, of course, open to the sun. Uh, there might be in some umbrellas that we put up here eventually. But from up here, you'll be able to look down into the two pools and pretty much see everything that's going on. from up here, as well as get some nice views of the landscaping of the, the backyard here. So a, a lot of the work that's been going on now is forming up for the concrete pour that we're expected to do next week. There's a bedroom here with a adjacent CR. There will be a hallway right here with two steps. You can come in and out from, if you're already upstairs, you come in and out of here to the sun deck. And then there's bedroom number two in this area. So there's, there's four bedrooms upstairs and one of the bedrooms has its own CR, kind of a master bedroom upstairs then the second one will share a common CR here. The third bedroom will share it. Over here is really, it's not really designated a bedroom. It's more uh, an accessory room, but it could, it could double as a bedroom, but that'll be over here. So this is the next big push. You see how this bedroom right here forms the ceiling of the, this part of the breezeway. So we made, I made some changes to the, uh, the IT plan of the house here. I, I figured everything out and I'm going to have uh, eight Wi-Fi access points, nine TVs, seven IP cameras, three cameras on the second level, four cameras on the lower level, and I'll, I'll put up a a schematic of my diagram. If you want to look at it, you can pause it, take a look, give me some feedback on that. But I mentioned that because what I was going to do 
is have all of my cabling uh, terminate in the in the office, which is in, on the other side of those stairs right there. Uh, that's because that's where I thought, you know, that, that's where I'd spend a lot of my time for hobbies. So I could have my server rack in there. The, but the more I started thinking about it, I decided, um, you know, because I was speculating would I need a switch for upstairs, a switch for downstairs, and then and then I would, you know, fiber all that into the office. Uh, but what I what I decided to come up with, bring all of the Cat Six, whether it be for a access point, a camera, or a television, we bring that all into my hobby room, which is this outline right here. We're gonna make that happen. So my server rack, you know, will be down in the hobby room, which is probably a better place for it. And then, you know, just to make things uh, super easy, getting that data back to the office, what I'll just do is I'll, I'll, run, uh, I'll run one fiber uh, cable to the office and a spare, and just run it from my hobby room to the office so that way you know I could have everything in both places the noise and the heat will stay in my hobby room and the office will be quiet uh, but I'll still have access to all that data as far as the solar plan that I've been uh, obsessing over I didn't hire a, um, a separate company to come and do solar uh, for a couple reasons one no one really wants to come out here <laughs> To, uh, to even do a site inspection. Um, there, there's probably some lesser known companies that would come out, but I don't really feel comfortable with those. Uh, and, and the companies that I heard really good things about, that, uh, according to them, were out of their service area. So I'm laying all the groundwork, you know, uh, to do a DIY um, in, in pieces, you know, so. I'm not going to do the whole thing myself, you know, the, the heavy-duty uh, part of it with with all the bits and pieces and especially the batteries. I'm not going to do that, do any of that right now. But what I'm, I am doing is uh, I I prep the roof with metalite to make sure it's got extra support for solar panels everywhere if we want to go that far. And worked with the electrician and we've got uh, four number two PVC down conduits right here that lead directly into the electrical room below and I figured out that I can run for eight twelve I could run wiring for sixteen panels with enough room here in each number two conduit. So, and a little bit left over. So technically, if I ever get to that point, I could have four times 16 panels up on the roof. Uh, so this is just mostly future expansion. You know, one, one of these is gonna be implemented uh, fairly quickly. And that's just, for me to experiment in the world of solar. I, I do have uh, two Delta Pros and an extra battery that I'm using at the garage. And I've experimented with solar there. So that's that's gonna be my first test is grabbing the solar, for, you know, for that and uh, place those, those Delta Pros down there in the electrical room as well. Anyway, all that to say is someday I'll have a full-blown solar set up here you know, with capacity to cover the entire roofs. Oh, roofs? Yeah. To cover each roof uh, probably completely with, with panels, 400 watt panels. But that's not going to take place right away. I want to work my way into that. Around, around 3 o'clock it starts to shade in up here on the sun deck. So this is going to be a nice place to hang out in the early to late afternoon up 
here. And if you want, you can you can access the, the house from there. And if you wanted to stay in the house and go downstairs, you, there'll be a walkway here, a hallway. And then you would use those stairs over there to go down inside. Or if you wanted to go down straight to the backyard and remain outside, you use these stairs. So let's walk in through the breezeway because that's really taken a lot of shape. This area here, well, there's no door here. This is going to be open. So technically, you'll be outside as you walk through the breezeway. And you'll see the forms up here. This, this right here is the mechanical room, as well as the main, in, the main entrance uh, for water from our tank. So it's in here where all the filters will be for uh, to support the uh, the pool, as well as you know any kind of filtration I want to do from the water that comes up from the Chateau d'If. It'll come in here, I'll filter it, then send it into the house. This part of the downstairs has a CR here. This will be a, a full bath. There's not much light in here, but tonight, but. The, the purpose of this this path here downstairs in the breezeway is really to just serve people that are out here in the backyard or swimming. They can run in here, don't have to open any doors or anything. You run in here to the breezeway, you use the CR, run back out and continue what you're doing. You don't have to open and close doors to get in the house. And then this is the main entrance to the hobby room. And this is when I was talking about where we're going to have everything IT related will terminate in here. So uh, there'll be a total of, let's call it 24 Cat 6 cables terminating in this room. So, you know, eight of those are, are Wi Fi access points, PoE, everything's PoE. You know, there'll be seven cameras and uh, nine, eight or nine TVs. So those will all terminate in here. I'm going to use uh, HDMI over CAT6 splitter uh, to service all the TVs. So they're going to get their signal from the from the NVR, and I I can send that out to every TV in the house. So w watching CCTV, uh, you'll be able to do it from, for, uh, from anywhere in the house that has a TV, and that's a lot of places. Next, walking down the breezeway, we have the electrical room. Uh, it's, it's dark, but there's really nothing to see in here <laughs> yet. <laughs> We, we do have cutouts for the electric panel and back back in here is where you'll find uh, the four number two PVC conduits to take in all of the solar panel um, wiring down in here. As you continue to walk through the, the breezeway you're still under cover and you can go left if you go left you'll go out of uh, the same type of no no door entry exit onto the side of the house right here you'll go into the dirty kitchen and if you were to walk in the dirty kitchen this will have a door uh, there'll be an, another door to pass through into the laundry room here and once in here, if you turn right, you go into the kitchen. And if you come out of the breezeway, walking this way, and turn right, you'll have access to the pool area. 
So we're going to have a nice deck here. Uh, it'll be PVC uh, uh, planking, uh, the wood alternative to planking here. So you'll have a little area here where you can fit a couple of lounge chairs probably. And you'll be able to jump in the, the pool from this side. And on that side, as you walk down, there'll be a shower. And then we'll have some steps to go down in the, the shallow side of the pool. And as I showed you in previous videos, you can walk that way to access the backyard as well. And here they they uh, roughed up the, the walls that are going to uh, encompass the waterfall. There'll be a, or a waterfall or water uh, water feature, I should say. I'm not sure what it's going to look like yet, but I'm thinking some river rocks and some some uh, aquatic plants on these two areas here. There's the outlet for the water. Big big window here. On the other side of that window is the the kitchen area, which kind of blends into the living room. We've got all kinds of sand and gravel pre-staged here because uh, we're expecting that big pour next week. And so I mentioned earlier in the video about the, the air conditioners. We, we decided on split type. So in, in this area here, which is the kind of a great, they call it a great room. Hey guys, it's enough. Called a great room. Uh, in some circles but uh, the, basically there's no split in between the living area living room and the kitchen so we're gonna have two three horsepower split type air cons one here on the kitchen side and then another three horsepower right here uh, where there will be a TV here and the couch couch right here this is a window so I think this two, three, six horsepower in, the, in this area is gonna it's gonna cool it down. We've got six horsepower in the, in the entire garage, and I can get that the entire garage down to 72 degrees. So I'm not I'm thinking that's going to be fine. Even though we have a lot of windows here, we should be okay. Walking down here. You've seen some of this before. This is the main entrance door here. But what's new are the stairs going up to the second floor. So once once this area up here is completely poured, uh, they will start on, you know, start on second floor over here. The Metalite team came out a couple of days ago to meet again to see where we were. So as soon as they're ready, or as soon as we're ready for them to come out again, I think they're gonna come out when the, the flooring over here is done to set that up. And then our crew will start forming up the flooring for this side of the house. This is the office, you've seen this. I, I did make a lot of, uh, a lot of preparation as far as bringing in Cat 6. Uh, just in case um, we had to switch but I, I really sold on putting all the the IT equipment in the in the hobby room uh, but okay so uh, aircon in this room is going to be a one horsepower split type aircon I believe one one or one and a half I have to check but I think it's one horsepower it's not a very big room and then if you come around you'll come into this hallway here large window doorway this will be a sliding door into the you know the overlooks obviously the pool area I think based on uh, previous videos you'll you'll start to see this all come together now you can see the bistro area the sunken bistro 
I don't want to call it a bar anymore because we're gonna we have potential now to actually make some snacks there, some hot snacks as as well as drinks and uh, lower pool, big pool pass through sun decks up there where we were and this is the master bedrooms. Nothing really changed in here except for the the aircon guys have done their they're cutting through the through the walls to place the copper piping and we'll have a three horsepower in here. As far as air conditioning upstairs, every every bedroom upstairs is going to have a one horsepower unit. Except, except for the larger bedroom that has its own CR and we're going to put a 1.5 horsepower up there. So if you came out, if you were walking around this area, you'll still have the, the PVC planking, wood planking coming here. Uh, and what I'm thinking here, you once this is landscaped you can just walk right off into the grass in this area but if you were to come up here this is the way you would re-enter the breezeway right here and that um, that CR that services the, the backyard here will have a one horsepower aircon so as you can see we're still trying to burn this tree <laughs> if you watched my uh, latest video on the excavator series you'll see what we went through trying to get this to burn you can see how difficult it is but it's slowly but surely going to ash so I, I hope this update was of value to you hello to everybody in the family in the states all my friends see you next time